Ladies and gentlemen, I bid you good evening. Charles Dickens at your service. The author, the chief, the actor, the inimitable boss, the champion of childhood innocence. He rose from the table and advancing to the master, basin and spoon in hand, said, somewhat alarmed at his own temerity, Please, sir, I want some more. The master was a fat, healthy man, but he turned very pale. He gazed in stupefied astonishment on the small rebel for some seconds, and then clung for support to the copper. The assistants were paralysed with wonder. The boys with fear. What? said the master again at length. Please, sir, said Oliver. I want some more. Girl number 20. I don't know that girl. Who is that girl? Sissy Duke, sir. Sissy is not a name. Don't call yourself Sissy. Call yourself Cecilia. His father has called me Sissy, sir. Then he has no business to do it. Tell him he mustn't. day was breaking and there was light enough for the men to see each other's faces. They exchanged one brief glance. There was a fire in the eyes of both which could not be mistaken. Let me out, said Sykes. Don't speak to me. It's not safe. Let me out, I say. Hear me speak a word, rejoined Fagin, laying his hand upon the lock. You won't be what? You won't be too violent, Bill. I mean, not too violent for safety. Be crafty, Bill. I'm not too bound. Sykes made no reply, but pulling open the door of which Fagin had turned the lock, dashed out into the silent streets. Mm -hmm.